can't wait to get to school each day And I'll wait for you to pass my way And bells start to ring And angel starts to say Hey, that's the girl for you So what are you gonna do? Hey, little y'all recognize what that song was um the classic uh troop <laughs> song all i do is think of you and this video is sponsored by yours truly house of jazz all i have to say is that i'm looking at my subscriber count and it is almost at 1000 subscribers and i'm like when did this happened it's slowly going up and I'm like wow so this is my gift to the channel my almost 1,000 subscribers <laughs> video <laughs> I, I think it's in the late 950 or it could be in the early 960 something right now and I just got so excited and I said it's been a long time since I did a tutorial 100% based off of what I wanted to do. And I'm like, man, this is classic right here, man. So because this is a classic moment, I decided let's, let's, let's look at a classic by Troop. And I did spread my wings already and I always wanted to learn all I do is think of you. So, man, here we go. All right, so um, again, sponsored by yours truly, House of Jazz. So you know what I'm saying? Um, for those wondering if I hit up my own PayPal, nah, not really. Can't afford to do all that, but... <laughs> I hate y'all. So um, here we go. <coughs> Good question is, what? it's like the song is. I guess you can kind of say it's in E flat because when you get to the end it fits. But is it really in E flat? This like I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. It's, it's it's and I do play E major, then I play E flat minor, then B major, then D flat. It's like man. But yeah, see, which it's probably an E flat. I don't know, technically. But okay, let's do, let's get to. So we got the intro of the song. So if you know, now when I say the intro, I ain't talking about that piano thing. That ding, boom, boom, boom. No, I'm talking about when it goes. Uh, so let's look at what that is. So we got, no, we don't. We got, there we go. <laughs> so all this is really um, on the left hand, I got B flat, okay, double B flat. On the right hand, you got B flat, D flat, and E. And this is just an inversion because if you take, is that what I got? Is that what I decided it was going to be? No, I think I decided this is going to be that. There we go. So on the right hand, I, let me correct that. On the right hand, you got A flat, D flat, 
in E. And I've got the B flat. You don't have to play the B flat because I got it in the bass. Yeah, that gives you the sound. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So there you go. That's your first chord again. Now, if you take this A flat, put it over here. You can look over here and see that this is a D flat minor chord. Major, minor. So I'm going to say that this chord is a D flat minor chord. It's inverted. You got the fifth as the first note. So that's called second inversion over B flat. So there you go. So you got that. You're going to hit that chord four times. One, two, three. And after the fourth time, you want to do a little walk. So the first different chord that you play is going to be A flat over C. C on your left hand, double C. Right hand, A flat, C, B flat. Did I skip something? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. So it's D. So it's... Uh, uh, The next chord, <coughs> you're going to do a power chord, which is really, all you got is you're not going to add the third of the D flat major chord. You're just going to do D flat and A flat. D flat and A flat. So on the left hand, I just got D flats. You can add that A flat. And over here, I just got A flat and D flat. Those are the only two notes I'm playing throughout. D flat, A flat, D flat, A flat, D flat. Because it seems like you can put this F in there and make it a D major chord. But I just, I, I don't know, I think the F just is not needed. So, so far we got, um, what is it, what did I say it was going to be? And then you want to come to an E flat major chord. Of course the G is usually the third of the E flat, so this is first inversion. E flat, B flat, E flat on the left hand. G, B flat, E flat on the right hand. Okay, so that beginning is and then you're gonna hit a B major nine chord. Okay, you can do B F sharp B on the left hand. Uh, since I'm saying this is a B chord, let me call this out correctly. A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp. Okay. And then you want to do... So this chord, this is a triplet. One, two, three. And all this is, is a D flat minor seven. You might recognize it better as C sharp minor seven. So on the left hand, you got... D flat, A flat, D flat on the right hand, A flat, B as in boy, and E. So you're hitting that three times. That's a triplet. Ba, ba, ba. And then you're going to go to an E flat minor seven chord. E flat, B flat, E flat, left hand, right hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat. So that's that whole intro, which is da, 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 da. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, look at that slowly again. And you can rewind the, you know, rewind the video as many times as you need, because I spelled out all the chords already. So you got da. Sorry about that one. Then you got bop, 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 bop. Now you're gonna to go to the chorus. So the section I'm teaching you now is the chorus of the song. Okay, so your first chord is gonna be an E major seven, and the inversion that I'm playing is E, B, E on the left hand, B, um, <clears throat> D sharp, and G sharp. Just those three notes. Three notes on the left, three notes on the um, right. <coughs> Sorry, it's dealing with allergies, y'all. All I do is think of you. So the next chord is an E flat minor seven in the inversion I'm playing. Double E flat on the left hand, on the right hand, B flat, D flat, 
E flat, G flat. And then what I'm doing is so this really you can is you got A flat on your left hand, right? Double A flat at the E flat. That's easy, right? You can see that. What I'm doing with the right hand, one, three, five, seven. This is a B major seven chord. But you know, to make it sound real pretty, I hit the B major seven chord, tap B with my pinky finger. That's think about. So what I'm doing is think about. I'm just playing that little melody just to make the chord sound even sweeter. That, so that's da da da. So I'm going da da da. Now if you look at this, I got B, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. Okay. I already have a note on F sharp. I already got a note on A sharp. So I kind of roll the chord. You see how I'm starting with the B and I add them real quickly? So I bang this A sharp just slightly harder. And then I go to B. And then I play just a B major chord, making sure I accent this note, the F sharp, because that's the melody I want. Da, da, da. That's all this. Okay, all that over A flat. Okay. So that's all that is. On the, if you purchase the chord sheet for the song, it's just gonna say B major seven over A flat. So there's no way I could I was gonna I can type all that to show what I'm doing. Just gotta look at the video for that, right? So okay, so that's your next chord. So the chord after that is your D flat minor seven. Again, you might know it better as C sharp minor seven. In harmonic, same name. Remember, this is C sharp and is also D flat. All the black keys, all the white keys got double names. So. Two names. So we got. So I'm on D flat minor seven or C sharp minor seven. Uh, D flat, A flat, D flat. Left hand that's flat dad. On the right hand, I'm just playing that inverted E chord, which is uh, G sharp, B as in boy, E. Put it all together, C sharp minor seven or D flat minor seven. So those are the four chords to the chorus, and it, it, um, it then I just gotta add two more chords. Would you play that cycle two times? All I do is think of you, think of you, and what I did with that C sharp. Minor or D flat minor, I went to. What did I do? I did. So I did. Let me look at what I did before I tell you what I did. Yeah, I just went. You don't have to do that. That's just a little melody. I just go. Okay, that's if you want to do that. So again. Then you just play it again. You play the second time. E major seven, E flat minor seven, B major seven over A flat, and then the C. Okay. Now you gotta play after you the second time. All of, all of the time. That's what I'm doing. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. So I'm playing the chord and go da, 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 da. And then you're going to do all the time. So what you're going to do on your left hand is play D flat, A flat, D flat. On your right hand, you can look at it. You're really playing a C sharp minor seven chord or D flat minor seven again. But so that you understand the inversion, it might it might be easier to you to look at the right hand and say this is an E major second inversion. Why do I say that? If you take this B and move it over here, that's an E E chord. I might have said E flat. I apologize. E major, E major. That's an E major. You take this B and you put it down as your first note on your right hand, and now you can look at it as an E second inversion. 
on the chord sheet, I wrote it as E second inversion over C sharp. Just hopefully that will, you know, so you can understand that you really need to play it like this. And to be honest with you, if you really want to make it crunchy, add that um, E flat too. You can do it without it, but if you add it, it just makes it even fatter. So, da, da. and the chord that you're going to is just an E flat major chord. And I play it in root position. Root position, E flat, B flat, E flat, left hand, right hand, E flat, G, B flat. So that whole chorus is um, the E major seven, E flat minor seven, then that, I explained how I played that, and then you got the D flat minor seven, then you play it again, E major seven, E flat minor seven, then that, I explained how to play that, B major seven over A flat, I'm sorry, all of the time, all of the time, that's all I'm doing, and then I'm going to go all the time, okay, to the E flat chord. I just wanted to just say this one thing before I move to the verse. I tend to want to add an extra chord when you're playing the chorus, when you're going, when you play the, the first four chords on the recording, they do not play an extra E flat minor seven. But it sounds good, so I just want to give you that option. If you go, all I do. Now, you got the E flat minor 7 right here the first time. You got to put that in there. You can go, you see what I did? I just I added an E flat minor 7 again. <clears throat> I do not hear this in the recording. It's just something that just sounds good as I'm playing it. Like, you got it the first time. That's in the recording. They got the uh, do, do, uh, uh. so I just wanted to just say hey if you want to add that E flat minor seven if you buy my chord sheet you'll see a arrow pointing to it in brackets saying optional passing chord it's not in the recording okay so that's your chorus all I gotta do is teach you the chords to the verse and that's the whole song so if you're doing the Jackson 5, which is the original version, you just going to lay on this chord and just play it. When Michael starts singing, he just, I'll be in or I can't wait to get to school each day. Now, if you're doing it the way Stephen Russell does it from Truth, you got to hit the chord the way Chucky Booker produced it and go, I can't wait to get to school each day. So it depends on who you want to imitate, okay? It's the exact same chord. It's just that when the Jacksons did it, they just play the chord. I can't wait to get to school each day. They keep it smooth. When Troop did it, they went. I can't wait to get to school each day. It's the same chord. Let's look at the chord now. Uh, you got... Um, I call this an E major 7 over D flat, even though what it really is, let me say this, this is a C sharp minor 9 chord, root position, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, okay, or you can call it D flat minor 9, root position, but it, it might be easier, so on my chord sheet, I made it like this is an E major 7 chord on the right hand, I said it's over... D flat, should have said C sharp, but hey, anyway. You got D flat, A flat, D flat on the left hand. On the right hand, you got E, G sharp, B as in boy, and D sharp. Okay, so again, you could either hit it to be like troop or I can't wait to get to school each day. So this chord over here, on your right hand, you're playing an A flat minor seven. A flat, B, E flat, G flat, right? A flat minor seven on the right hand, G flat. And I am putting the D flat in the middle of the octaves. So you got G flat octave for D flat. Okay. Now your next chord is going to be a B major nine chord, and I'm playing it like this. Okay. And what you can do is you can kind of hit the melody. You two pass by. 
if you choose to play that melody, like as you go, and wait for you to pass my way. I know it helps me sing the right notes when I bang that note out. If you choose to add that melody, it's just B, C sharp, D sharp, G sharp, and then it's an F sharp, but you want to land on the chord. When I played the demo, when I was playing in the beginning of it, you heard me go. Okay, but the chord I'm landing on is a B major 9. B, F sharp, B. Uh, left hand, right hand is A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp. Okay, now your next chord is going to be M bell. No, 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 no. The, the next chord is actually the very first chord of the entire song when we did remember that it's that same chord that's it's that chord again so that's d flat minor over b flat b flat f b flat you don't really have to have that f it might be too much it's up to you on the left hand and on the right hand you got the a flat d flat e on the right hand okay so, so far we got, I can't wait to get to school each day, and wait for you to pass my way, and bells. Okay, that's the um, D flat minor over B flat. Your next chord is going to be E flat dominant seven chord. That's E flat, B flat, E flat on the left hand, G, B flat, D flat, on the right hand if you want to really do something funky you can add the e is that'll work too you can add that that makes it what a, i think it makes it a nine a e flat dominant nine chord if you add the e there's an e flat dominant nine it still sounds good so if you want to do it this way without the e or with the e it sounds fat man either way you do it Okay, so then your next chord is just going to be a straight up B over A flat, or you should say G sharp, but I'm not following all theory rules when I give these tutorials. I try to give it to you the easiest way that will help you remember it, that I think. So I'm going straight to a A flat on the left hand, and this is just a B major chord. It's inverted. I took the F sharp, which is usually right here, and put it down here, so that makes it a B second inversion chord okay so so far i can't wait to get to school each day wait for you to pass my way and bells start to ring an angel now on this uh chord right here i think is a d flat is that dominant now I'm not sure, but here's the easiest way to look at it. If you look at the right hand, this is an F minor seven with a flat five, right? F minor seven is usually F, A flat, C, E flat. Take this C, lower it, make it a flat five. That's what you got on your right hand. Flat that on your left hand, D flat, A flat, D flat. So you can look at it as an F minor seven flat five over D flat, okay? And then your next chord, the only note that changes is this F. You take it down to an E, okay? And that's be um, and that winds up being the very first chord of the verse that you started with. And you're going to kind of hit it. Hey, that's the girl for you. And then you're going to go to E flat minor seven, and then you're going to bang that chord out. Dun, dun, dun. Right, so it's gonna be, hey, that's the girl for you. E flat minor seven is E flat, B flat, E flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat on the right hand. So, hey, that's the girl for you. So what are you gonna do? So before we finish out the verse, let's look at those first set of chords. Um, I can't wait to get to school each day And wait for you to pass my way And bells start to ring And angels 
starts to say, hey, that's the girl for you. So what are you gonna do? Now to finish the verse up, you wanna jump up to an F minor seven chord. So on the left hand, you got F, C, F. And on the right hand, you have C, E flat, A flat. Hey, little girl, I love you. And this chord that I'm coming to is the same chord um, it's the second chord in the verse that I gave you already, which is A flat minor seven on the right hand, A flat minor seven over G flat on the left hand, G flat, D flat, G flat, left hand. The right hand is A flat, B, E flat, G flat. Um, and then just like from the intro, when you're going back to the chorus, you're going to go, you're going to go, bop, 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 and then, all I, if you remember that from the intro, when you went, dun, 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 and then you went, boom, 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 you're going to do that, starting with the B major 9, you're going to hit it, bop, 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 you're going to do it exactly the same way you did it in the intro, and then you go right back to the chorus. So, just so that you don't have to rewind all the way to the beginning, let me just, sh the B minor 9 chord again is B, F sharp, B on the left hand, A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp on the right hand. So you hit that one time, bop, and then you have the D flat minor 7 triplet, da, 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 right? So you got bop, 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 that is D flat dad on the left hand, right? And on the right hand, G sharp, B, and E, that's your triplet, bop, bop, bop. and then you got your E flat minor seven. E flat, B flat, E flat, left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat, right hand. So this is the left hand, I think it's called that right hand, I can't remember. Left hand, right hand. Okay, so the whole verse. I can't wait to get to school each time. And wait for you to pass my way And bells start to ring And angels start to... Just move that one finger down Hey, that's the girl for you So what are you gonna do? Hey, little girl, I love you Okay, so there are no more chords to show you for this song. That's it. So you play the verse again for the second verse. You go back to the chorus, and then I sha da 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 da. That's just the chord. That's the chorus again. Da 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 da. It's the same chords. Sha da um sha da. the chorus. It's the same chorus. All I did was just chop it up. The E e major said, da, 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 da. I don't even know if they chop it up on the recording. I know the vocals go, da, da, da. I don't know if they still just play, da, 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 da. the piano might not even chop it up right there, but you're still playing the chorus. And when it gets to the part when Steve is going, ooh, ooh, baby. I keep thinking about you all night long. Woo. But he's like singing it three octaves higher than I'm singing it. Uh, baby, day and night, that's all I do. Whoa, whoa. I can't get you, can't get you. Oh, it's still the chorus. It's like. You take every chord from the chorus and just um, play it double. So you go the E major 7. Uh, E flat, and then you can do this. Uh, 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 
chords. It's the same chords, just. Whoa, I can't get you, can't get you off my mind. your tutorial man so that was uh just a little something for me just my almost 1000 subscriber uh <laughs> video <laughs> that i just wanted to do i just wanted to take a break i still got a couple of um requests i'll have to get done this week but i just wanted to just throw in one that i want i just got so happy when i'm, I'm just getting close to a thousand views so just appreciate y'all hopefully you enjoyed i know this is a good song um, I know somebody probably eventually was probably going to want it, hear it. So I really think this is one of those songs. Since a lot of people that's on this channel like the music from the 80s and 90s, it's hard to like the music from the 80s and 90s and not like all I do is think of you, whether it's the Jacksons or Troops. So enjoy. Um, information. Um, I gave you the video for free, but I'm still going to charge you for the chord sheets. So if you want the chord sheet for this, it's still going to be $2 for a Word or PDF. Or if you want the um, oh, a Word and a PDF emailed to you, uh, $3. So there. So I gave you the video for free. So if you want to write it, you know, that's cool. But, you know, but if you want the chord sheet, I still will charge for that. Now, probably when I get to 1,000 subscribers, whatever song I decide to do, I'll probably give the chord sheet away for free too, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. My PayPal information and Patreon information will be in the link below if you would like to donate and request a video to be done. If you would like to buy the chord sheets, use the PayPal link. If you would like to become a Patreon and start sponsoring the page once a month, click the Patreon link. I'll catch y'all in the next one, y'all. Peace.